I'm thinking now I have a wiring short somewhere because right now we can't get it to do what it was doing. As you can see, brake light's working. Brake light's working. Turn signal. Good turn signal. Good turn signal. Everything's working properly. Brakes are working. But it keeps going in and out. And I checked the battery. Battery's good. It's in this little box here. <clears throat> Battery's still holding charge. Checked all the connections. Checked my ground. Everything is good. I'm just kind of wondering if maybe we got a short. I do got a little bit of cracking here in a few of my fittings. So if it keeps up today, I'm going to probably dig a little deeper into the wiring so yeah everything's working as it should right now but yeah I thought it was the battery it's definitely not right now but we'll see if it continues good morning TQ good morning is that it that's yeah. all you, that's all you're gonna give them good morning Sean good morning everybody how are you doing on this beautiful what day is it Thursday Thursday, Thursday. wow guess what guys Today is officially our freshman's last day. And we will have a sophomore by the, actually by the end of, by noon we'll have a sophomore. You know everybody plugs up the <clears throat> beginning of the year photos and the end of the year photos. Well, our daughter only has one Spanish test today. Yeah. So she gets to sleep in. So her end of the school year, because we gotta go to work, is her sleeping on the couch. We should plug <laughs> it up here. But uh, yeah, we're not gonna do I that. I won't too. do that to her. I'll wait. I'll I'll get a picture of her later. Anyways, before we forget, big congratulations to all the graduates for 2023. You guys did it. You guys lived through a pandemic, and uh, yeah, it's gonna be a wild ride from here on out. If I can give any of you advice, stay young as possible. <laughs> Even when you get older, stay young at heart. But uh, yeah, don't drive mom and dad too nuts. Don't try to do everything all at once. Give it time. Make some mistakes. Try different jobs, career paths. Whether you want to go to school or not, you know, that's all up to you. Fulfill your dreams and go after your dreams. And I would say do it sooner rather than later because as you get older, more responsibilities come. And uh, as long as you're not hurting anybody or yourself, you can... Uh, you can do a lot of big things and achieve what you want to before you really choose to settle down, have a family, have a house, all that that comes with that. Let's get into the video. <laughs> Let's go. So if you wonder why she's trimming out so far, these roots are really raised, probably about three and four inches. So you don't want to try to take your mower really close to that. That's a great way to bend your blades and yeah, just cause all kinds of damage to your mower.
right? So I'll show you guys in regular. If you don't know, when we're shooting in hyperlapse, it reduces the resolution and the quality of the shot. So I always like to do a hyperlapse followed by, you know, regular filming to really show off how the lawn truly looks. The colors are a lot more uh, vibrant. They look a lot better. We don't have good lighting this early in the morning, so you're not really gonna see the stripe, but it's in there. And uh, they put fresh mulch down, so a little bit of our blowout that we're getting ended up, you know, in the mulch beds a little bit here. So we wanna make sure, spend a few extra minutes and really get it cleaned up here. Looking really good. We had some subscribers stop by, and uh, I don't know if the hyperlapse caught them or not, but they stopped by, they actually live in the area, been watching the channel for years. He said he's, uh, Cuban American, I believe you is what he said. Really great couple, and yeah, we appreciate you guys stopping by, saying hi. We've done a lot of filming on this one, mainly hyperlapse. So I'm gonna go ahead and end it till we get to the next one. the camera doesn't do it justice but that's one heck of a hill guys and it goes down and then in kind of like a roller coaster How do we know when to change our patterns up or how do we change our patterns up and it's a really simple answer guys you just don't want to mow repeatedly in the same direction week after week after week after week especially in the springtime whenever the ground is really soft because what will happen is your tires will actually gouge a groove okay and if you ever notice somebody's mowing in the where the tires are is 
looks really really good but then there's like a, a almost like a burnt look to the center well that's because the tires have been ran through that same rut so much that the deck is actually cutting lower to the ground they're not getting a true three and a half inch four inch cut because those tires are lower that deck's actually cutting probably like two and three quarters maybe even three inches and they can't figure out like hey i'm you know i'm cutting at three and a half but my lawn's showing you know that i'm cutting at three or whatever so to get a true cut you want to change up your patterns and that's really just up to you we like to do what looks best for the property so tq turns this way we're on a golf course here the house looks really good from all angles i mean it's got flowers it's got scenery over here it's got scenery over there be back this way so it really doesn't matter so what we like to do is just change our pattern up every other week you know so one week we'll go side to side some week we'll go horizontal vertical you know whatever it doesn't really matter throw an angle into it just don't get too crazy with it where like it starts looking like a cut up pizza that was cut wrong if you know what i'm saying you don't want to have like little you know triangle pieces here and there just make it look uniform make it look really good and uh be creative you know if, if you want to explore a little bit it's kind of like being a an artist you get to come out every single week and make it look the way you want it to make it look its best so don't do anything that's going to hurt it you know cut it high especially something like this and uh yeah make it look really really good i need to get me some of those blue pants Looking really good, a little bit more clean up right there. There she goes. This baby's looking good from all angles. We don't got really good sun right now, but we'll check her board in it this week. Good job, babe. You too. Let's go. Miley called me. Yeah. She's done. We officially have a sophomore. We officially have a sophomore. <laughs> you and then she so asked fast. me, she said, Where where's our tea at? I'm like, tea would be in the refrigerator. She was asking for the softball tea because we ordered her a new net. hitting net yeah so and it came so that's what she's doing right now nice putting in that work yep all right we're on out of here
All right, end of the work day here. I need to get my own jungle mode here. It's pretty darn tall. Look at those edges, insane. up the maintenance on my own property here figured I'd share a little bit with you here about five minutes ten minutes worth just uh, a little bit of trimming it's uh, a lot taller than what I thought it was <laughs> anyway it's gonna definitely be a double cut hope you enjoyed today's video as always keep mowing keep growing keep making money boys we'll talk to you later Peace you up. Peace.